And what's up, guys? I'm back with another tip, another uh, example of how to raise your credit score or your CPN, increase the score on there. It is called Rent Credit Hero. And it's um, basically you sign up for the program. It's a one-time fee starting at 29 bucks. This is the lowest one. I'm going to show you the guys the rest. So basically, you know, I just moved to my apartment um, this month. So I paid up for this month and uh, prorated for the month previous. I won't have a payment due to January. So basically, if I was to sign up for this program, I would pick the plan where uh, I'm going to show you the plans. You're going to put your information in the system. Um, they're going to work with your rental office and they're going to get it together with the credit bureau. Like basically, you know how if you were to get evicted and you didn't pay the rent, that goes on your credit. So somehow it's always going to be tied to your credit anyway. So they're going to reach out to the credit bureau through your apartments and they're going to report your either previous rent on time because you can go back up to 24 months or you can start from uh, that month there and move forward. It'll take about two weeks to um, show on your uh, credit profile once you get signed up and they have different plans plan I would choose would be just me. I won't include my girlfriend. It says, do you have any roommates or spouse that are on the lease as well with you? It'll help their credit out too. I'm going to say no. And you can choose the 24 month, which is going to be a $89 one-time startup fee, a $6 monthly reporting fee. So it's going to be 95 bucks today, 12 months. It's going to be $65, $59 setup fee, and a $6 reporting fee. And if I want to start from the month of January, which is most likely what I have to do because I haven't been here anyway, I would pick this one, and it would be $35 today, $29 setup, and $6 a month. And they'll basically go back with your through your apartment's um, leasing office and see if every payment has been made on time for the month. And I'm pretty sure you get a grace period from a day or two. Like if you were paid late, paid a later day or so, I wouldn't worry about it. I would still do it for the most part if I paid it consistently on time, 90% of the time. So uh, you're gonna sign up there, put in your information as far as your card, but they're just going to go off what the apartment tells them as far as um, your on-time payments and whatever. And it'll keep track of it somehow with the credit bureaus. I'm not actually sure until I actually start it, which is going to be the upcoming month of January. And it's going to be the beginning of the year, and I'm going to start off fresh. So that's another hack for increasing your credit and your CPN. is going to give you a primary trade line on your um, CPN is going to show up as two years history if you choose it, 12 months history, one year, or start fresh and build up throughout the years to um, build yourself a strong score. Like I say, I'm using my CPN for the long term. So in the description box below, I'm also going to have different kind of offers and programs that you can use to finance. Um, a lot of the things I talk about, like as far as the monthly payments, um, different little um Things when you know you take the money off your actual accounts, you go find somewhere to load it up on your CPN cards because most likely the first cards you're gonna get with the CPN are prepaid cards. So uh, there's a lot of ways you can offset that by. Uh, Sometimes you got programs that only give you points, Amazon points, or just points to use to shop. That's gonna offset you spending money because the money you were gonna spend on Amazon or uh, something else, you can take those points and use those. So. There's different kind of programs like paid surveys, um, little things to pay out, chains per day, um, acorns, which um, take the change from your transactions and invest it. So by the end of the month or end of a couple months, you can have um, money. It's not really passive money. It's more like side hustle money, like side money. So that money kind of offsets a lot of things that I talk about doing here, like um Financing trade lines because I haven't brought in really big trade lines because they are expensive and uh, there's going to be some 
you're going to have to find some way to finance them. So I'm going to have in the description box different like offers where you could um basically make a dollar a day or 50 cent, anything, anything adds up. So a dollar a day, little points and things, all those things can be used to um, subsequently fund different things because you're taking money from here and saving money on this end. So the money that you're saving on this end can be used for that. So, um,